Hey guys, I'm Jeff Weekly, editor of Florida Sports Magazine. I'm out here on my floating laboratory testing out some new lures today with Chris Bishop of Yozuri. And uh, Chris has brought a sort of a hybrid style high speed troll lure here. I'm really interested to learn a little bit more about it. Chris, tell me about this lure. So this is the uh, Big Game High Speed Vibe. It's new for 2018. It's, uh, it's in our Big Game series. Uh, it's a pretty similar body shape to the Bonita, um, but a smaller profile and significantly more versatile. So this bait, like the Bonita, you can troll up to 15 knots. Uh, it's a smaller profile, so brings in a more, uh, bigger range of species, king mackerel, uh, schooly yellow fins, black fin tuna. It's a great, great lure for a lot of different applications. But what makes it unique too is castability. I mean, Despite its shape, it casts incredibly well. It's almost three ounces, so you gotta throw it on a you know, pretty heavy offshore spinning rod. Um, but it casts a long ways, and then you can burn it back to the boat with a high-speed retrieve for fish that are breaking on the surface. Um, another thing you can do is if you're marking fish down, either schools of, of tuna you know, suspended halfway down, or uh, even bottom fishing is to let it go down below the school and rip it back up through the school. Um, Great overall bait you fish in a number of ways. Now you, I can t I can tell some key differences between that bait and, and you know an inshore style lure here. I mean this has got heavy heavy duty split rings, heavy heavy duty hooks. That's made for big fish. Oh yeah, anything in our big game series uh, comes with 4x trebles. It's got three wire construction. Um, this is the same body material as everything in the big game series, including the Bonita. It's a proprietary body material um, that we make in Japan. Haven't had a single issue of a broken. Uh, Bonita or Bullhopper or High Speed Vibe coming back since we switched this material. Now, now this this is a diver. It, it's a diver by virtue of its shape. I mean, some guys are familiar with you know lip plugs like this one here. Obviously, that that lip catches the water and sends it down. But, but this is uh, tell me how this one dives. So on the troll because it has its own weight. I mean, it's a it's a sinking plug. It sinks pretty quick. That allows you to do you know the the vertical type fishing down by the bottom for amberjacks or red snapper. Um, so it sinks pretty fast on its own. It has a nice action on the sink, so you get bites on the sink a lot of times. But when you're trolling it, the line tie is farther up the back. So when you're pulling it, it has a head down type uh, uh, action to it. So that keeps that bait down. You know, on it. You know, if you're going eight to ten knots, it's probably down. You know, five to seven feet. Uh, you can fish it on a planer. You can fish it on a downrigger. Um, the good thing about it is there's not a lot to it. You can just comes with a really heavy duty split ring on the top so you don't have to tie a loop knot or a crimp if you don't want to you can just tie off straight to the split ring pretty much put it anywhere in your spread and because it's you know has a wide range of speeds somewhere between like three or four knots up to 15 or 16 you know if you're coming down off a wave or anything it, it won't kick out like some of the lift baits so it's an easy bait if you're just a weekend guy who just likes to go out put some baits behind the boat and troll you can do that if you're you know, a higher skilled angler and you want to go out and try fishing it in multiple ways, this is a really versatile bait. And for under $20 for a big game bait of this style, it's a pretty good deal. Sounds good. Well, Chris, thanks a lot for bringing that. Look forward to trying these lures and put some in the water and uh, we're going to get some more feedback and, and follow up in the weeks to come. Sounds good. Thanks a lot.